Uh, now, sticking with the government, they're accusing Russia's version of MI5, the SFB, of a sustained cyber hacking campaign targeting public figures and politicians. Yes, the Russian ambassador was summoned, and two individuals have been sanctioned. But Moscow denies that it is involved in such activities. Well, the FSB is, of course, what used to be the KGB, so we thought we'd speak to a former KGB officer, Alexander Vasiliev, who's in the studio. Morning to you. Should we be even remotely surprised that Russia appears to be spying on the UK? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a normal thing. Look, Brit it's, it's really a weird situation. Uh, British culture has been a part of the, Rus of the Russian culture for centuries. Right. People love Britain. Normal people love Britain. I remember, and it was like that even in the Soviet times. I remember when I was a kid, I, I, I read Walter Scott about knights and all this. I listened to British rock music, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, Pink Floyd, Queen, uh, Sweet, Slate, Led to the Police. And all my friends listened to, listened to that music. We, we knew all of that. And there were films, uh, there were books, writers like Charles Dickens, I don't know, or Graham Greene. Uh, we, we have their, uh, our own uh, Winnie the Pooh, which is pretty wicked, actually. Is it? What's it called? Yeah. Winnie the uh, Pooh, in oh, Russian. Oh, I see it. It's not yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Oh, right. We all, uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes is very good. Soviet Sherlock Holmes are really, really good. Uh, there were TV, TV spectacles based on Oscar Wilde, for instance, uh, the, the importance of being earnest. Mm. So, isn't, it, isn't that fascination, though, with British culture sort of counterproductive, or at least that would be frowned on by Moscow, wouldn't it? No, not at all. No. I mean, uh, a lot of... Look, Putin himself 20 years ago said that Russian culture is a Western European culture. Uh, and every, Russia is Europe, culturally. It is Europe. I mean, uh, Britain is one of the most popular countries in Russia, on the same level as France, for instance. So I, I, it's really sad for me to see that there, this misunderstanding between uh, political elites of, in Brit, of Britain and Russia. It's really sad. But in, so this, in, in this situation, sorry, I was no, going to say, in this situation, um, we've got a, a, an acknowledgement almost that, well, no, not from Moscow, but, but um, clearly there has been a bit of spying going on. But then we have spies too. Yes, I mean, absolutely. This is completely normal to, to you. Anyway. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I, I think that we, we, we should accept it as just, uh, you know, normal thing. The people are doing their jobs. It's OK. Well, if you don't like them, arrest them and deport them. Uh, th that's it. That's it. That's yeah. the way to do it. I mean, Russians are pretty cool about espionage generally, and uh, they nor normally they they don't make uh, you know they uh, they don't raise a, a big stink about it. You know, there is someone. Well, I, I guess part part of the issue over here is that w we forget about espionage, and it just seems like we're suddenly reverting... We, we look at a headline like that and we go, we're reverting to the Cold War. Oh, no, no, no. It, it always happens when they say, oh, my God, MI5 discovered, you know, 20 spies in the Russian embassy in London. Look, MI5 always know who the spy is, because for a professional uh, counterintelligence organisation like MI5, spotting a spy, it's just a matter of...